The West certainly had interesting ways of getting their hands on Soviet technology during the Cold War. We got our hands on the MiG-15 when a North Korean pilot used one to defect, claiming a $100,000 bounty in the process that he didn't know existed. A Soviet pilot defected to Japan and was kind enough to bring along his MiG-25. To acquire the titanium necessary for the SR-71 Blackbird, the United States used a series of shell companies in order to purchase it directly from the Soviet Union. However, one of the most humiliating exchanges of technology occurred when the Soviets were basically handed the Sidewinder missile. During the Second Taiwan Strait Crisis of 1958, Taiwan's F-86 Sabres were facing off against the superior MiG-17. Because the MiG-17 had better maneuverability, speed, and altitude stats, that meant it could engage on its own terms. In order to level the playing field, the U.S. Navy quickly modified 100 Sabres to take the AIM-9 Sidewinder. And the missiles were extremely effective, but during an engagement in September of 1958, one of the Sidewinders hit its target, failed to detonate, and stayed intact in the fuselage of this MiG-17. As a result, the Chinese were able to send the intact missile to the Soviets, who were able to reverse engineer it, and then shared its design with their allies, leading to an entire class of both Soviet and Chinese missiles. Now, the Sidewinder has been upgraded throughout its entire service life, and in 1967, the Soviets were able to upgrade theirs in the same way that we had upgraded ours, thanks to a spy taking advantage of a foggy German night and stealing one off of a runway. It's a funny story for another time that involves a wheelbarrow and a station wagon.